friends thank you so much for joining me again this week um, if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Tabitha and I would be so glad if you'd be part of this family so if you haven't yet subscribed hit that little subscribe button there in the corner and then hit the little bell as well so that you can get a notification every single time that I upload a video and that is every Thursday so today what we are talking about are the kitchen essentials I believe that every home should have a theme and they should stick with it you should be that person that goes to the store and just because it's special you buy just because you have the money or there is a store, or you like the thing no stick to a theme so in my home our theme is white glass and silver and then here and there I'll introduce color like maybe uh, our dish goes tilt for example but um, when it comes to our dishes we kept it neutral all my dishes are white so I have two sets of dishes and they are from different stores but because they're white I can get away with this because you won't even tell that they're different because I have the same uh, the same palette and I think that every person deserves to have a luxurious home a home that they enjoy and a home that they feel really good in and it's simple things like this luxury doesn't have to be all about spending so much money and you know sometimes we wait for the day we will make it big and make so much money that we'll you know take ourselves out buy certain things you could actually just start by implementing some of us few tips like if you're uh, if you're into black dishes have all black dishes if you're into red have all red dishes don't go there and buy gray black red and then it's all cluttered it actually makes you know it, visual clutter and it just makes you feel overwhelmed the other thing that i do is that i use clear um casserole dishes so if i'm not storing food in it or anything like that i put fruit in here and then if we are not using the casserole bowl i'll put our veggie cutlets i store my veggie cutlets for two days so if we use them today and then we've got a little bit remaining we'll use them the following day so i'll know what we have that is still there to be used so i have it in clear glass and it looks good in the fridge as well and then uh, here and there I will treat my family so I got this um, for oh, what, 35 rand if I'm not mistaken it was a special I also just I'm a bargain hunter like I look for bargains so I got this um, to serve like open sandwiches so I, I, I really do not wait to have special guests I actually use this for uh, my family so we'll literally pick like you know open sandwiches and enjoy a little bit of luxury and then one of my greatest pet peeves are different colored lunch boxes or tupperware you'll have blue pink green oh my god it drives me nuts anyway what i do is that i have glass and then if i'm not using it as a lunch box container i'll store fruit out we just wash fruit um, and then store it in here and so anyone who wants to have some fruit they can just pick it from the fridge and then they'll just you know nibble in there so you see killing two birds with one stone and then um, I love to treat myself like self-care doesn't have to be just going for a massage doing your nails and you could treat yourself and have tea in a tea set so I have the clear one, the glass one. If you've seen, I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram. I'll have tea. I like this, especially when I'm having my cranberry tea. I'll have it in the in the clear one. And then I also believe that you should have a beautiful tea set. So I got this from Home ETC, and then I have my little white tea um, teacup there as well, and the sauce. It is not part of the same set, but because it is white, I can get away with it. So I'm literally building up my own little set on my own. So yeah. And then when you're cooking um, next to your stove, don't be that girl that just, you know, 
puts the spoon all over, you know, all, all over the kitchen counter. What you could do is that you could go for a spoon rest, a white one. So I got this from Home ETC. So I use it to rest my spoon when I'm cooking. I love the look. It is beautiful and it works. Seriously. You know, so I don't have to mess around my sink. Um, my whole counter just because I'm cooking up a storm. So I just rest it up in this one. That brings me to um, cooking. I use non-stick pots. I got this baccarat set from at home. So because I do not want them to scratch, I use this silicone um, spoon just so that when I'm cooking, I can just, you know, I don't have to scratch my pots. It's also just good to invest in good pots and then you can build up from there, you know, the luxurious pots and after that, but have the essentials. So on my pot set, I have, I even have a grill pan. And so I enjoy, you know, making grilled sandwiches, grilling my chicken breasts and all that. And it's all part of my non-stick uh, set. And I think that it's, it's actually quite vital. The other thing is that I have um, an easy to sharpen knife set. I got this from at home. Um, I think that it's also important to have a set of knives that also goes, you know, and it complements your whole home aesthetic what you're going for in your kitchen. So as you can see already, it's glass, it's white, it's gray. So this is a very dark gray. And then for my knife set, it's um, a gray or a stainless steel shade. So it's important to have um, a beautiful knife set. Um, this then takes us to, uh, you know, water where I could uh, contain my water I have this cute little water bottles I got this from Westpac they are actually um, not that expensive as we at Westpac but if you buy them at Bodman's or console they're a little bit pricier but then they serve the same purpose I did not I didn't want to spend that much money on them but then sometimes if I, the thing is I like to I like to make sure that I enjoy the things. So these things are not for my guests only, but we use them as a family. So if you're just drinking on your own, you grab this little one, and then if you're sharing um, the bottle uh, with other uh, people on the table, you just pull out the big one, and it's gloss. It's not plastic. <laughs> so it's not only is it beautiful, but it's also just environmentally friendly. So that's what I'm always trying to go for uh, when I buy my stuff. So yeah, I recommend that you get glass water bottles. It's just gorgeous and it's luxurious. I like that. All right, the other thing that I do is that um, I buy, you know, wine glasses we don't drink alcohol but then i buy wine glasses so that you know just when i'm um having my juice because we just every morning i have my i have my juice in in a wine glass and then if um if you feel that you don't want a wine glass we have this cute little tumblers but then you see the shape is just the same so i'm building like a little set here so, and it's also just you know um really easy on the eye and when we're having smoothies i got this at zara so when you have some they're having when we're having smoothies i just serve them in this little uh, beautiful glass here and then sometimes i will literally just serve myself ice cream in this one um we also just use it for juicing as well because we um there's no other use for them apart from that but for me it's about you know treating myself you know and having a beautiful home and I think every person deserves that. No matter what your budget is, you have every right to have a beautiful home. You have every right to enjoy your things. Don't buy them and just store them for when you have special guests or you buy beautiful things when you have money. You can actually just buy these things today, enjoy them. We have one life and it is important um, that you, you know, give it your best go at it and enjoy that and when we're serving ice cream or having um a fruit salad i got this super super cheap very very affordable uh dessert bowls they are not pretty at all but they serve the purpose right now and i got them when i didn't have that much money but you know what great spend um 
So if you have any more questions or if you have any more information that you would like to know about um, homeware or recommendations that you'd like me to make for you or you tell me what do you use in your house, how is your kitchen wear like? You know, what do you use? What's your color? I would really, really love to know. Why don't you leave me a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram page. I'm going to leave my Instagram handle right here on the screen and you can um, hang out with me that side. Uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, I use the same handle on my Facebook page as well. I am so glad that you guys could drop by and share this part of my life with me. And if you love the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.